Hello. Well, you can probably guess what this video is going to be about by the title and thumbnail and context and time this is being posted and all around just everything going on right now. So today I'm going to be talking about a video game as I usually do on this channel. And you can probably guess what game by the thumbnail. And that game is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, you're, it's probably pretty obvious why I'm posting this video right now. Tears of the Kingdom is, as of now, less than two days away from coming out. So I just wanted to make a video talking about Breath of the Wild and, you know, just the game as a whole and everything, everything about it and my experiences with it because it is one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite. And I think that goes for a lot of people as well besides me. I mean, given its popularity and how many people praise it. Uh, I did a similar video to this with Fire Emblem Three Houses or before Fire Emblem Engage came out as a way to kind of commemorate it and just talk. I just wanted to talk about one of my favorite games, you know, just share my thoughts about it on YouTube. And this is what I'm doing right now. I mean, it, it's not the same as then because, you know, the era of the wild like this era for Zelda isn't over necessarily because Tears of the Kingdom is still in Breath of the Wild's Hyrule. It's still part of the saga of the wild, if you will. I'm going to keep that one. But anyway, um, it is still a sequel so and a mainline game. So it is still the end of the Breath of the Wild era, but not the era of the wild, if that makes any sense. Oh, and uh, one thing for clarification, this video is not scripted at all. Uh, I don't really have time to write a script with everything. I've been very busy in general, like even having the time to record this, it was something something of a challenge. So I've been really busy, absolutely do not have the time to write a script. So just bear with me, but I got a lot on my mind about the game. So I think I should manage fine, but excuse if there are some pauses or whatever, or well, I'm probably gonna edit those out, but excuse me. If I say some dumb crap, bear with me. This isn't scripted. I'm just talking into this mic. Or phone, rather. Anyway, anyway. Um, so I don't really know where to begin. Because, I mean, I came here to talk about Breath of the Wild. Because Breath of the Wild's era is technically gonna end when Tears of the Kingdom releases. Which some people might agree with that. Some people might not. I don't know. Maybe you get it. Maybe you don't. Feel free to share your thoughts. I don't know. But that's kind of... What it's feeling like for me. I mean, the truth is I'm probably never going to play Breath of the Wild again for at least another good few years. I'll probably go back to it at some point for nostalgia. But with Tears of the Kingdom here, it's direct sequel when I've already done everything there is to do in Breath of the Wild. I don't really see a point to playing it to being to playing it more. Earlier today I went and I fought Clam again and Dark Beast and all that. Saw the ending and credits and all that over just one last time to kind of just as one last little personal tribute to the game and I was just like wow this game this game changed my life man so what's unreal to me is the fact that we've been waiting four years since or almost four years since Tears of the Kingdom was announced for it to come out and here I am right here and I know that the last time the next or next time what am I saying uh the next time I log into my Switch, it will be to play Tears of the Kingdom, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm just like, holy, holy, holy crap. That's insane. Because we've been waiting, and not only we've been, not only have we been waiting four years since the announcement date, Breath of the Wild has been out now for over six years. Six years. That's an insane amount of time for the game to have been out. Like, t March 2017, think about that. When, when Breath of the Wild came out, at that time, in that point in time, I was in elementary school. I was a little kid. I'm in high school now. That's how much time has gone by. But I was a little kid doing probably like basic multiplication and division problems. And or whatever, whatever I was doing in that year. Um, I didn't actually get a switch and get Breath of the Wild until 2018 for my birthday in 2018. In February, I asked for, well, I didn't ask for a Switch. I asked for money to be able to buy a Switch. So I ended up getting together just barely enough money after my birthday to be able to afford a Switch. So I bought a Switch, bought Breath of the Wild, got that game, February 2018. Very important date. 
and god damn that game start that game it wasn't okay it wasn't only due to breath of wild but it in a way that game started a new chapter of my life so before the main games i played i only really played games on pc not even pc because i played them on a mac computer i just play games like i I play like minecraft roblox the like the lego video games uh i love the lego jurassic world games i was a huge dinosaur jurassic park jurassic world kid when i was younger so i just played those on my family's apple computer which is actually really which is actually right next to me right now because i'm pacing in my basement as i record this anyway um back on track uh so i only really played a very small selection of games and i kind of just select stuck to those games and wasn't i wasn't very focused on video games per se well i still i played them really often it's just that i only really i just played the same games uh i just played the same games a ton but when I got a Nintendo Switch, when I got Breath of the Wild, so Breath of the Wild was so new to me because it, here I had this massive open world to wander through and explore. And I was, I was a little kid when I first played Breath of the Wild. I was 10 years old. So for me, I had never experienced anything remotely like that. Even Minecraft was... Minecraft was open world as it was it was just it wasn't the same as breath of the wild just the way that breath of the wild was structured was it was so groundbreaking at the time it came out and groundbreaking for me when i was little playing it for the first time the feeling of like the feeling of when i first got the glider made off the plateau and landed and that text went on my screen Hyrule Kingdom, Kingdom of Hyrule, whatever it said, I was just, that was the moment of realization where I was like, wow, I am here in this game and I'm, I can, I'm going to spend hundreds and hundreds of hours doing everything there is to do in this world. And I did. Well, not everything because I didn't get all the Korok seeds, but fuck that. Uh, anyway, um, just a lot of my friends at the time were playing Breath of the Wild, so I had a lot of, like, I would... I had a friend, spent a lot of time hanging out with him, talking about Breath of the Wild, and just a lot of stuff in general. Like, coincidentally, the time when I started playing Breath of the Wild, and I got my Switch, was also when I started watching, was also when I actually, start, when I started watching anime. I talked a lot with him about anime, and then other friends too. Eventually, other, I started making like other friends, they got Breath of the Wild. And then other Switch games too, like Mario Odyssey, Smash Bros, Mario Kart, you know, all those games. We just have a lot of fun talking about those. Another particular friend of mine, Still friends with him today. Actually made, have made a couple videos with him on this channel. If you're detective, detective-y enough, you can probably figure out who that is, but anyway. He and I, we have played a lot of games together. We play, we used to play a lot of Smash Bros and Monster Hunter together. Still play, Sm- still play Monster Hunter sometimes. I uh, haven't played Smash Bros in a minute. But anyway, we, in fifth grade, we spent I don't remember what it was. It was in, like, September um, in fifth grade. So I just went. I don't know. He was talking to my other friend about Breath of the Wild. And I went up to them. And then I started talking to them about it. And then since then, my friend, not the, the, the friend who, the friend who I made the videos with. So he, we, me and him, we started just every recess for the first, like, quarter of the school year, we would just walk around the field and talk about Zelda. Just talk about Breath of the Wild. And that was what it, that was the first quarter of fifth grade for me, just walking around and talking about Breath of the Wild. Now he was pretty early on in the game when this started, so I would I kind of guided him through Breath of the Wild. Like I remember I helped him get through like Zora's domain, the Lanayru area, the Goron area, Death Mountain, you know. I mean eventually he got the hang of the game and ended up becoming a lot more independent in his gameplay. But I was kind of like his guy, like like his uh, his Zelda mentor earlier on. Yeah, um, we ended up getting each other into a lot of different games throughout the year. Like, he's the one who got me into Xenoblade originally. Uh, Goad series, by the way. Anyway, that kind of ties into something else I was going to talk about. 
So after getting Breath of the Wild, of course I got a Switch. That wasn't the only game I got on Switch. Ended up getting a lot more on Switch eventually, but... So I started out with Breath of the Wild, then I got Super Mario Odyssey. A few months, like... About a month after getting my Switch. A month or two, and more like two months, I think. Got that, and then my third game was Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Because I thought it would be, like, a mainline Zelda game. I mean, <laughs> I was wrong about that, but I still liked it anyway. Have not touched that game since 2018, though, so it feels kind of illegal to go back and play at this point. So, probably gonna pass on that, but... I don't remember what my fourth Switch game was. After that, it was a blur. Uh, I did get into Smash Bros. when that first came out. Got really into that. I still play it pretty often. Uh, anyway, I just got ton, tons of Switch games. Point is, tons of Switch, tons of Switch games. I was buying them. I was playing them a lot. I was bonding with people over them. I was making new friends throughout the years, talking through, talking about games on Switch. My horizons in terms of video games really expanded because of the diverse different kinds of genres of games I, I was playing on the Switch. And that's the thing, you know, because of that, because of all those different genres of games I was playing, all those different games I was experiencing and their stories or like adventures I was having in those, video games ended up becoming a pretty major and important part of my life. Uh, definitely even still to this day, video games are a big part of my life. I've played Game, I played a video game on my Nintendo Switch just about, I'd say, 98% of days ever since getting it. You know, I've put thousands and thousands of hours into that console. Um, yeah, and pretty much the starting point of that journey was Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was the start of that journey in, into games. And I've, 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 I've played through a lot of games since then. And a lot of the games i played, you know, with their stories or, and, yeah, mainly stories, yeah. They've, there's been a lot of games with um, stuff that I've been able, I've been able to make like real life connections to a lot of stuff in video games. There have been games that have gotten me really emotional, really happy, just, um, they've taken me all over the place in terms of emotions and oh, these are mostly story-based games I'm talking about right now. Uh, even games that aren't story-based that are more gameplay. I've made a lot of memories and bonded over playing those games with my friends. So all those memories, I have a lot of those memories and those are all to thank. I have, or, no, I have video games, specifically Nintendo Switch games, to thank for said memories. So I know a lot of this video honestly hasn't even been about Breath of the Wild or even Zelda at all, and you know that's what it, that's what you know that's what it should be about. Like that's well, this is a, it's a tribute to Breath of the Wild, but I did want to make this a little more personal, so I'm kind of talking about just my personal experiences with Breath of the Wild, and and the, the way that it ties into all this that I'm talking about is because Breath of the Wild was it was the starting point, it was the beginning, the origin point, whatever you want to call it, of this journey I've taken since acquiring my Switch, and it all started, it all started with Breath of the Wild, in the, in the Shrine of Resurrection, grabbing that Sheikah Slate, that was the start of not only a journey in, the, in that game, but a journey across a tons of different games, and a real life journey, and new portion of my life that, or a new chapter of my life that I just started, and uh, you know, it was just, I think it's the fact that Playing Breath of the Wild and getting it, and I guess getting a Switch in general, is the, the, that was my starting point in this new chapter of my life. And I think that's just why, I think that's why it's, that's one of the reasons why it's so important to me, Breath of the Wild. And also because it's, mm, it's, I, it, it's, it's tied for my favorite game of all time between it and Three Houses. I have very, I have a very strong emotional connection to both of those, but I mean, all things considered, looking at it now in retrospect, Breath of the Wild might have to take first place again, even though Three Houses was in first for quite a good while. I don't know. You know, I'll say they're tied for first, yeah. You know, it's been an amazing last four years waiting for Tears of the Kingdom 2 to come out. That game, when that game was announced, I was in elementary school. When Tears of the Kingdom was, an, when it was announced, I'm in high school now. We've been waiting that long, four years. This game is, it's six years in the making since Brother Wild came out. And 
I've been playing Breath of the Wild for over five years now. And Breath of the Wild itself is over six years old. So the amount, just thinking about back, the amount of time that's passed since then, I have lived over a third of my entire existence, of my entire life, since getting, since I started playing Breath of the Wild, since I got my Switch. I'd say everything after getting Breath of the Wild was, I, I define that as its own separate chapter of my life because that's when like, as I said before, Breath of the Wild was the origin point of a lot of my interests shifting and like friends, making a bunch of new friends and like the friends I was hanging out with shifting and my interest shifting and just uh, overall changes to me as a person. Oh, video games even led me to other interests in real life and and other media in general, like anime. I pro I'll realistically, I probably wouldn't have started watching anime if not for video games. I don't know, maybe it's because, I don't know, I played or saw some anime style game and it was like, oh, that looks cool, I'll walk, I'm gonna watch, watch something like that. So I started watching anime, I don't know. I'm trying to think back. It probably wasn't something exactly like that or maybe it was, I don't remember. I was a little kid, but I think the main point and theme of this video that I'm trying to drive home, and I even have this in my, I didn't, I didn't even have this in mind when I started recording, it kind of just came to me, is the fact that for me, Breath of the Wild was an origin point. It was a starting point. It, it was a beginning to a saga of my life that I consider very important. And the, the origin point of video, like of video games becoming a major part of my life. So that's something that I consider very important. And, you know, I, I did want to talk about Breath of the Wild in this, but I feel like I've been talking about myself a little bit too much, which I admit uh, wasn't the point of this video. Wasn't my original plan, but I mean, I did want it to be a bit, I did want this video to be personal ultimately, but, and I think everything I've said about Breath of the Wild though, and about it making personal connections with me, that's the crazy thing is, that's the same things that happened to other people. Of course, not in the exact way as me. Everybody, everybody has their own unique story, you know? But there are other people out there I know who I've seen and talked to who said, who have told me stories about how Breath of the Wild changed their life or how it changed, or at least like changed their views on video games or media or entertainment or whatever, um, or it influenced and impacted them in some way. Oh. I mean, you've already prob if you're watching this, you've probably already heard over the last six years, countless fountains of praise for Breath of the Wild and how great it is. I'm not gonna regurgitate more of that. I'm just gonna say to you watching this, if you somehow made it this far of watching this, God knows how long I've been recording for, but I hope that your experiences with this game were similar to mine or this game impacted you. And then maybe, I hope that maybe you listening to me talk about my experience with, uh, with Breath of the Wild. Um, you listening to me talk about those experiences. Maybe, maybe you made some correlation to your own experiences or you realized something you didn't before. I don't know. I came here to talk about my thoughts on the game and share them with whoever wants to listen, whoever wants to, listen to them. If you, got some, if you got something out of watching this, then that's, that's good. That's something that, uh, that makes me happy. So... If you are the among the very small minority of people who made it to this point in the video, if anybody did it all, then thank you very much for watching this because I don't know how long I've been recording, but I don't know. This, I assume this is somewhere around the 20 minute mark. You can, you, you'll be able to tell. But thank you for watching this video, and um, I hope you enjoyed playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I hope you enjoy playing Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom.